It's 200 metres between Clapham Manor Children's Centre and a futuristic-looking Clapham Manor Primary School. Some of the children live overlooking the children's centre, many just a short walk away. But building bridges from the children's centre through to year one at the school has been harder than the geography would suggest. So what's been done to help? It was about 18 months ago, we had a day looking at our SEF. We looked at various ways of how we could improve early years in Key Stage 1. Nice to see you. And one of the areas was to make sure the transition process worked. See you later. It's the end of January. We just said goodbye to probably half of our established nursery children. No. No problem. OK, see you later. We get a whole new intake. And it's just settling in time, sort of helping them separate from their parents and carers. For some children, they've never left their mum or dad before. Bringing her here, she's only started full time. And um, it's, it's been quite effective seeing the way she interacts with other children. When she started nursery, I saw big increase in her conf confidence. You know, she was very confident. She was coming home, speaking about lots of things. She was learning there. So I was very happy that she learns new things. We had a visit, a home visit from uh, the teachers. Uh, all three teachers came and um, had a long chat and saw how Christian was at home and how he got on with his um, toys and his sister. So the planning for these children's first experiences started by building bridges with home. Each key person is developing their knowledge of a small number of the new children through observation, which is also vital for an initial assessment. It can be a little bit daunting doing an initial assessment, you know, finding out across the six areas of learning what they can do. So our first start is parents. So when we go for the home visit, we have um, just some questions, that, just broad questions, that we try and ask the parents. Hello, we would like to come in. Thank you. Does she write her name? Is she... She tries to write her name, yes. She recognises the letters in it, but she's more into reading books and things Lovely. rather than writing at the moment. But I keep encouraging her to do it. So. Who's that? The rough sands. She looks like the wolf, doesn't it? Just through interacting with the children, we can assess whether they've got any shape vocabulary, whether they can count, all done in a, in a very informal way, as well as starting to look at their social and emotional development. Can they, are they happy to come over and talk to us and things like that? Interactions with parents at Clapham are both caring and professional from the start. In reception, routines for parents are deliberately similar to the children's centre. We see the parents as their primary educators. We need to build on the picture that they have of those children in the learning that they're doing in the classroom. We have an open morning on a Friday which makes sure the parents feel free to come in, see how the children are learning and talk to us about any significant learning they've noticed in their child at home. Any, well, what's going to go in there, do you think? What could we put here? Could this be some things you do at half term with your family? We also have our celebration book, which is an all about me book, which goes to and from school, so we put in the work that we see happening in the classroom and the parents can add to that. And that's me playing hockey. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to give you back the All About yeah. Me book that you yeah. kindly sent back. So I've just added some more photos in of the sorts of things that we've been doing. So He's gonna... actually going to um, Austria skiing. <gasps> so that would be fantastic. So you could add some pictures you, and talk did about you your next trip. trip. Did you not tell your teacher you're going to Austria? Would you like to do that for us? And then yeah. you can tell us about course, your trip. And naturally enough, they'll have lots and lots of photos. Lots of things to tell us. Yeah. So I'll give you that one back. Well, you want to look after your special book and you can show everybody at home and make sure they see all the work you've been doing with us at school. So we're getting a, a building, a picture from both sides of things. Thank have you so much, Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye. Alexander. Bye-bye.
It's lovely for the children in terms of aiding their transition because they can see what they were doing when they were younger, they can reflect on, on how they've developed and changed and it shows that learning is a continuous process, it doesn't stop. Throughout the year, those children about to move on are taken for increasingly long visits to reception from nursery by their key person. At Clapham, transition is a process throughout the year and not an event on just one day. You know Mrs Robinson, she comes to nursery sometimes, doesn't she? Yes. Yeah. And it's flexible, so that children who haven't had nursery education or who move to Clapham from other settings have suitable individual transition plans. Another part of the transition policy is that children from the school are frequent visitors to nursery as learning partners. We have a school-wide policy of having shared learning partners, so each class in the school is buddied up with an older class. And the whole idea is to build relationships. Um, it, it also helps the Year 3 children to feel a sense of mentoring and empathy for younger children. And wherever you look across the Children's Centre, Reception and Year 1, there's evidence of common policies for collecting data on children's progress, which underpin professional conversations when children are handed over from one stage to the next. So when the children are moving through from the nursery into the reception, it's really important that we t talk regularly about those children and get a really good picture of where they are. And if we looked at the narrative that we shared with, um, with Mum, it was all about cooking, so he's really into mixing, making oh, yeah. mixes, mixtures and posts. see that. Yeah, and you can kind of see the concentration in yeah. his face. Um, Absolutely, the careful pouring. Yeah, exactly. So that I can make sure that what I'm planning in the class really starts from their starting point and takes them on. This is P.S. ED, CLL, PSRN, can you? So um, a real strength yeah. is it's numbers. numbers for labels. So he is ready to move into calculation problems yeah. in a context. We'd share work samples and the judgments that are being made and we'll compare our, our view of those judgments to make sure we're making a really yes. secure judgment for that child. So he's very secure at holding those numbers in his okay. head. This year we are trialling, reducing the class size and really seeing if that is going to make a, a big effect because basically research tells us that if you invest in the early years, they get them engaged in learning, they've got a fantastic basis for their lifelong learning. And also in year one, our teachers have also changed their practice. A robot, can you think of a sentence for your robot then? What could you write about your robot? And that particularly came from one teacher's personal professional development objective. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. I came to Clapham Manor as a nursery teacher and I was a nursery teacher for two years and then I went into year one and this will be my second year as a year one teacher. Hello, we are friends now. What's up, God? Names. Names. Oh. Sarah was an excellent practitioner in the nursery and it was then looking how we could uh, feed that into the school. And Sarah was giving quite a lot of management time to look at the classroom practice. She asked the transfer to uh, year one, we thought it was a great idea. Okay, someone tell me then, where does my capital letter need to be? Katrina? I get another sentence. I decided to do some research and find out about how that transi transition would work. Yeah. I asked the reception teachers what things they did in the reception classroom to help the children at the end of the year. And I asked the year one teachers what they did to help, um, and the early years coordinator as well. And then I also asked the parents. The yellow group, you're going to be going into the home corner and outside, and you're going to be thinking about what sentences you could write about your magic toy shop when we write our story tomorrow. Okay? So you're going to have a think about what sentences you're going to write tomorrow. 
lots of the parents said that the thing they were worried about was the children having to go from a play-based experience into a more structured, thinking that they'd be working in books, you know, writing all the time. The children, they said the same thing. The yellow group, you're into the home corner. The purple group, you're with me. <laughs> I'm the door, you know. From parents' evenings that we've had recently in the second term, they're very happy with what's going on in the classroom, they're happy with their child's progress, and all of the feedback that we've had has been positive from the parents. So even though children are accessing the Key Stage 1 curriculum successfully, the themes and commitments of the EYFS are still evident. The consequence of Sarah's transition research is a much greater continuity of learning environment between nursery, reception and year one. Play and exploration is still an integral part of every session. Children are involved in setting the agenda, discovering and planning around connections they find for themselves. At the beginning of the year, I would go into the home corner and I would model role play with the children. And it was very much me finding out what the children could do and using them um, to help me plan the next steps. Puppet on you. Scruffy bears on you. We've tried to close the gap so it's a gradual process. The children are having the same experiences at the beginning of year one as they are in reception, so it's not such a big deal to them. They're not worried about it, they still feel safe. And then once that's in place, they feel safe, then that's when we take it to a more structured level. Yes, fabulous, well done, that's beautiful writing. At the end of every week, we do a learning journey where we ask the children what they've learned this week, what they've enjoyed, and what they would like to learn next week or in the future. How do toys walk? In, in movies. That's that a good, good question, Louis. The results that we've got already, um, I can see that the children have benefited. They're more settled, they're more confident. They felt safe and secure, so it's helped them to become more independent in their learning, and they're definitely improving. We feel at our school that we've got a well-formed transition policy that's kind of evolved over a period of time, really. Transition is a priority for myself and Clapham Manor Primary School. I think the benefits are already showing, but that's a feeling at the moment. Hopefully I can say that in two years' time with uh, hard evidence. <laughs> <laughs>